What's up everybody? This is David McNally here with Four Shot Pickleball and I have the brand new Carbon approved paddle here in its original packaging. We're gonna do a video where I unbox it and compare it with the Generation 2 Carbon and the Generation 3 Carbon. Um, so let's get right into it. it. Took about a couple of weeks for this paddle to come. Got a receipt here. I did do option two, meaning that I bought a brand new paddle for $60 and I'm keeping my old paddle here as a practice paddle. Comes with the paddle case. We're gonna toss that off to the side. And my first impression is it looks very, very similar, almost identical. I did get the white face as opposed to the black on black just to um, differentiate the two so I don't confuse them. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of like a kind of a bro science test here where I just get an impression of what I think the grit is relatively um, while I will say that this face feels a lot less gritty than uh, the generation 2 here wow that feels a lot less gritty it definitely still has grit it's just kind of more uniform and um yeah, just, just honestly less gritty. I'm going to weigh it just to see how much it is. It's zeroed, this is the generation two. It comes in at 8.0 ounces exactly. This is coming in at exactly 8.0 ounces. So identical weight. Um, do have that serial number here signifying that it is USA approved. I even got out the old trusty Electrum, the last paddle I was using, and I'm comparing it with the grit that I'm feeling. I mean, can you guys even just hear that? How much more like high pitched that sounds and louder it is compared to this uh, carbon. So, Ultimately, this is kind of validating the claims that Carbon was putting out paddles that were way past the um, legal limit. But at the same time, too, the old USA approved Electrums feel way more like the old school Carbons than they do this brand new new school Carbon. And if anything, you would think that... <clears throat> These two paddles have had a lot of wear and tear, like months um, of like regular playing, and they feel a lot more gritty than this face. So we'll have to go out tonight and see. I am gonna weight the bottom of this paddle like I do my current playing paddle, and we'll see how it goes. Thank you. Playing with the new carbon paddle that evening. Overall, the new carbon paddle is a great paddle, and despite having a less gritty surface, the spin and control felt just like the old carbon paddles. Backspin and backhand dinks still felt aggressive. The topspin I was able to generate was very solid and again was able to put pressure on my opponents. Most importantly, the resets with a 16 millimeter carbon paddle are still amazing. The paddle feels like it's doing all the work just like it did with the previous generation of carbon paddles. So overall, the paddle is great and I come recommending it very highly, especially if you are a returning carbon paddle player. Um, do not be wary of the old gritty service. Um, use this video as a resource to inform your decision. But if you ask me, keep playing with the carbon. Here are some other highlight points that I'm showcasing 
to demonstrate the playability of the paddle. As you can see there, it still has a lot of aggressive put away power and just overall performs great. Um, with all the new paddles on the market, there are a lot to choose. And with all the controversy that has swirled around Carbon, Yola and Selkirk and the like have captured a lot of the previous Carbon market. So just consider that this paddle is still a great paddle. And thank you so much for watching this video. This might be my last Carbon paddle video, but we will see. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please shoot me a like, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, keep pickling, my friends.